What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Morbid Curator Podcast. I'm your host, Rock Corpse. With me, as always, I have my dad, Rich, and we have an awesome episode tonight. We're going to um, be talking about a French slasher, High Tension, came out in 2003, uh, directed by Alexandra Aja. Before we get to this badass movie, I want to talk about um, another badass movie that we watched over the weekend. Uh, fucking Evil Dead Rise, man. What would you think about that? Uh, I, I love love that film, man. Um, it, uh, it It's really good. I mean, that, that whole franchise, the Evil Dead franchise, is really, you can't go wrong with any of it. Um, and oh, yeah. and it, it just never disappoints, you know. And it definitely definitely uh was was a really good watch yeah this last one it was really it was really cool that you you know you're used to seeing evil deads in the woods and stuff like this and they had a new you know different scenery mm-hmm. um and you know usually you'd kind of question it like ah, i don't know how this is going to work out but man it worked out <clears throat> it worked out very well i really enjoyed the movie and i mean the gore was really really badass oh, yeah. too yeah and it and it kept to the true Evil Dead fashion, you know, yeah. the whole Book of the Dead and the whole uh, the deities and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, it was very much an Evil Dead. I mean, even at the beginning, it's not going to spoil anything, but just a little bit of like the running through the woods at the beginning of the movie is like, yeah, yeah. you know, it. Yeah, you just automatically know that you're going to be watching some type of Evil Dead movie. You know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, that's I, that was actually my one of my first like horror movies like that seeing in a theater mm-hmm. uh i've seen uh one of the resident evils a while back when i you know when i was a kid mm-hmm. um and i seen and i think the only other movie that i've seen in theaters besides that resident evil movie was um don't breathe too that i saw um somewhat recently and you know that was pretty good too but you know, it's not like an Evil Dead type right, horror. You right. know, so it was it was really badass. Yeah, it's fun to watch. I would Just definitely like um, definitely recommend some. You know, people going to go watch this oh, movie. Definitely, it's definitely yeah. it's worth it in the theaters too. You yeah. know, paying the little bit yeah. extra in the theaters or whatever. Um, definitely a um, a good time. I don't want to. It's so, so hard because such a good uh, su- such a new movie. I don't want to spoil anything. Right. But there's so many. All I can say is there's just so many good parts, so yeah, many funny insane. lines too. Yeah. yeah. Um, like there's so many one liners that are just hilarious, oh, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, like there, there's there. one in the um trailer where it's like, was it say it had the little girl and she's like, Mommy, and then she's yeah. like, Mommy's with the maggots yeah, now. Right, you know? right. Yeah. And they showed yeah. that in the trailer. So that yeah. you know, that's pretty cool. Yeah, there's but, there's like a whole ton of Easter eggs in that movie too, you know. Yeah. Um to kind of shout out to the old the evil dead films yeah 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 it's if you watch the old evil dead you would definitely catch uh, you know quite a few things that they threw in there and stuff and yeah um yeah man so and i think you know, we were talking about maybe doing a review on yeah on that movie when it comes out on yeah so whenever digital. it comes out on digital um or even just streaming somewhere uh i definitely plan on doing our review we're, we're gonna wait to rate it i already have my rating but i'm gonna wait yeah. until this that episode so uh you know stay tuned for that if you guys are um some hardcore morbid curator listeners uh stay tuned for that episode whenever we can you know get the time to do that one so but man this fucking movie high tension yeah it's it's one of those sleeper films yeah you know? definitely like, like definitely when you wouldn't even know um it's under the radar you know i'm yep. sure a lot of people haven't even heard of this film yeah you know? very underrated film yeah, it is yeah uh, like i've never talked to anybody about it you know like right. nobody has brought it up which is mm-hmm. weird to me because it's such a great fucking movie yeah. i think yeah. i mean yeah uh you know it's pretty much about um just like a little rough summary for you know until we before we spoil the whole damn thing um just a little rough summary of the movie it's about these two women that uh they're like study they're in college and they go to their friends and they go to a farmhouse which is one of the um family you know it's a family member of one Mm -hmm. of the friends and 
they just get you know pretty quickly right off the rip um a man comes into play right uh and sort of like a serial killer serial killer thing going on uh there. slasher you know it's yeah. a french slasher so yeah and you know these movies are always brutal all these foreign films oh, yeah. are always like top notch yeah you know it's actually uh, uh you know it's a french film but it was actually shot in romania oh yeah yeah hell yeah yeah, it's, uh, yeah man it's you know, so you got this killer, and uh, they pretty much are just trying to get away from him. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, pretty much the whole movie is them, the two friends, trying to get away from this killer. Yeah. There's a huge twist at the end, yeah. and I'm gonna pretty much stop it right there with the summary, you know. Right. And then we are going to get into well you want to rate it what would you rate this movie um i give it an 8.5 yeah dude yeah. that's i actually yeah. get an 8.5 yeah, too. Right. yeah. yeah. I, it, mine was like 8.5 to yeah. 9 because yeah. it's i yeah. mean it's it, it's well written yeah well written uh movie it'll definitely um, i don't think anybody could watch this movie and like catch the twist right and once you watch the movie you're going to want to watch it again oh yes yeah. that it's that kind of movie that um and just to catch everything uh yeah and there's a lot there's a lot to catch yeah once you know what you know after yeah. seeing the movie yeah. you just you're you're gonna go back and and watch it and, yeah you know and i love movies like that I yeah love, I and just... it's cool because you can you see so much more that mm-hmm. you missed you know it's yeah. just it's such a dude this movie like we said both gave it an 8.5 yeah. uh if you haven't seen it yet go watch it i don't know if it's streaming on any on anything um we got ours on dvd I think so it's, it might be on tubi i think yeah it yeah. could be yeah I think um so. definitely check and see if you if you haven't yet yeah google it um see where it's streaming and stuff but definitely yeah. a what uh, um if you haven't seen it watch this film if you're a horror buff definitely oh yeah it's it's a must see Mm-hmm. And it's like one of those sleeper films. You just, you know, nobody talks about it and everything else like that. But it's kind of like one of those that flew under the radar and yeah, stuff like that. It's like that. a hidden gem, mm-hmm. you know. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, man, we're going to, you know, start the walkthrough. And it's it starts out kind of creepy at first. It's they're in like a southern France. And that's all, you know, all you see is this woman like at this somewhat of a psych ward you you would assume at this point um kind of rocking back and forth and she's like mm-hmm. uh i won't let anyone come between us i won't let anybody come between us and she just and keeps, she's all cut up and stuff yeah too, right? yeah she's um it shows she's wearing a hospital gown right and mm-hmm. you see like uh slash marks in her back because the camera kind of shows her back or whatever yeah. mm-hmm. and so at this point you're just like what the you know like she's right. psycho or something mm-hmm. and you don't know who she is or anything at this point and then it shows kind of like you know how movies show flashbacks how it kind of like dims the light and right uh so it shows like a flashback of this woman presume you know you can kind of assume it's probably the same one that was rocking back and forth mm-hmm. uh and she's like running through the woods yeah. barefoot all cut up bleeding yeah. um, you can tell she's like running from something yeah you know, like yeah that kind of thing and so it turns out this woman wakes up in the car we know her name's marie we'll just go ahead mm-hmm. and say it now uh this woman is marie she's one of the main characters so you know mm-hmm. keep that in mind and she wakes up and she talks about that she just had this dream that she was running through the woods barefoot you know bleeding cut up and her friend alex which is driving at this point right uh you know they get to the talking and you know nothing and alex is another female yeah you know, another you know, female yeah they're both females yeah. and you can kind of sense at this point in time there's some type of weird connection between them because alex is talking about a boyfriend uh-huh. and marie is very almost seems jealous of her talking yeah. about this yeah. boy yeah she is. and she even calls him like a womanizer and right. you know yeah all this other stuff so you can get this like weird tension 
between the two that she doesn't want her to be with him kind yeah of thing, yeah you know, like. and so basically these two girls are heading to this farmhouse which is alex's parents house they're on their way there and then it shows this funny ass scene uh where there's a it shows a man in this like jeepers creepers looking van and it, there, he's sitting outside of alex's parents house yes yeah. yes yeah because her, her mother is out there doing you know hanging laundry and stuff yeah and her brother is out there running around playing and stuff yeah and um it shows um an angle where it looks like he's getting you know um getting a blowjob from something somebody sitting in the driver's sitting seat in the driver's seat yeah. so you and you can um assume he's getting head from this whatever yeah. and he it shows him picking up the head and it's just a severed head and he chucks, he chucks it out it the out window. window. Yeah. So, that, and that's like within the first like five minutes of the film, you know what I mean? Right. So right off the rip, you're just like, man, okay. So this is the kind of film this is going to be. Right. And, and that's what got me. I mean, as soon as that happened, I was like, oh, okay, here we yeah, go. Yeah. I mean, you don't see that honest. every yeah. day in a yeah. film, you know, that, right. that's pretty, yeah. uh, you know, next next level type mm -hmm. stuff so mm -hmm. it was it was really cool seeing that um just right off the rip it got me interested yeah so it goes back to alex and marie driving and you know they get into this cornfield alex gets out of the alex gets out of the car and starts running because she thinks that she sees something or that's what she says anyway and marie's like well, dude where are you going like come back and chases after her, and they're just going through this cornfield or whatever mm -hmm. And uh, Marie hears the car start and she's like, oh, shit, runs back. And Alex is taking off in the car, you know, joking with her. Right. So it was just like a prank that she was playing um, on her and stuff like this. And they finally get to the farmhouse. And it's weird. Just Marie's like demeanor is just like she's just kind of looking around, like almost scoping out the place. Yeah. You could kind of assume yeah, mm -hmm. it's just weird. How yeah, she's acting. she is. Yeah. So, you know, she just meets the family. They go upstairs. It's it's late, so they're about to lay down and stuff. Marie goes out to smoke a cigarette. And as she's sitting there, she looks up and uh, you can, th there's a light on in the window. Mm -hmm. And Alex is taking a shower with, mm -hmm. like, curtains open. I get, right. maybe they don't have curtains. I don't well, know. but Yeah, it's out on the farm. So I yeah. Guess, you know, <laughs> yeah. Nobody, yeah. yeah. I guess nobody is going to be walking it's over there. So. The cows, yeah. So, you know. <laughs> And she sees her uh, naked. So, you know, you see her boobs and everything. And this intrigues um, Marie. Mm -hmm. You can kind of tell just how she's staring at her yeah. taking a yeah. shower, you know. Right. I don't know about you, but if I seen a man taking a shower, I would look away instantly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you can kind of assume that she has some type of weird attraction right, to right. her friend. Right. And it, to the point where she actually goes upstairs and masturbates. Right. So, yeah. Uh, and she does that for a good, I mean, it's got to be probably a good two minutes of the film mm -hmm. where it shows her kind of, you know, masturbating. Yeah. And all of a sudden she has, this is a key factor. She puts her um, headphones in mm -hmm. and she's listening to some like Bob Marley mm -hmm. shit or something. Yeah. And <laughs> as this is going on, you know, she's masturbating all this shit. The... The van that you see earlier, the one, the guy that was mm -hmm. getting a blowjob from the severed head. Which the van looks like Jeepers Jeep Creepers. Yeah, it's yeah, like a Jeepers yeah. Creepers it van. Looks, man. Yeah, pretty much like Like, that. pretty much exact. Yeah. I mean, yeah. uh, and he pulls up to the to that farmhouse. She, you know, obviously she doesn't notice because she has headphones in. Everybody right, else she's, is, you yeah, know, pretty much. <laughs> preoccupied right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. Right. Uh, the, and so the man rings the doorbell. And her dad, Daniel, mm -hmm. uh, not her, uh, Alex's dad, yeah, Alex's, Alex's dad, dad yeah. Daniel answers the door and he gets instantly stabbed mm -hmm. with a, uh, um, what is it like, like a, a straight blade, straight or, blade, yeah. you know, um, the only way I can explain it to the listeners straight. is like, uh, it's what, like your, you know, grandpa or somebody would shave, shave with, yeah. yeah. you yeah, know, it's like a straight razor kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. And so he stabs him with that. And then he kills the dog. It shows because they had a dog also. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it shows him kind of just chucking the dog at the body. Yeah. You know, it is yeah. dead. But I thought it was really cool how he killed, you know, he 
you know, kind of curb stomped his head into the banister. Yeah. Uh, the, the, yeah. The, so <laughs> the, the thing and his head was stuck in the banister and, you know, he ended up grabbing like, I don't know, it was a piece of furniture or something. Yeah. And he just kind of started running with it and just like decapitated him. Yeah. And this is the dad, the, yeah. the dad yeah. that got yeah. Uh, decapitated. Yeah. yeah, man. And it was, uh, it was a brutal scene too, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. like it's, uh, we, we watched the unrated version also. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's a little bit more, like slightly more gore yeah. in some spots. Yeah. Um, like the, the unrated, I mean, it showed more of the, the blood spurting out of the neck and stuff yeah. like that in this, in this particular, I, I think there's only, there's only like 30 seconds difference yeah. in that. And it's just all added, um, to the kills, you know, makes them a little bit more gory or whatever. Yeah. And it, yeah, it, it, you know, this is very early in the movie and you're already seeing this type of gore yeah, and, just, you know, so it's really, it's a, it's a pretty fast moving movie. Yeah. So it's really, um, it, it, it gets your attention and it keeps your attention yeah. because it's just constant shit happening. There's really not a slow part in this no, film. No, no. I mean, it kind of keeps your, your interest. Yeah. It's like know? an hour and a half film and it seems like a 30 minute film mm -hmm. because it's just, it's so good and so quick. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, it keeps you on your toes the whole time, especially yeah. when you find out some, some shit. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so the dad's, you know, decapitated dogs dead. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Marie, she, I forgot to mention this. She kind of notices, um, eventually the guy, she, she sees the man coming through, um, the front door yeah. from upstairs, yeah. from the upstairs window. The yeah. Window, yeah. So she sees this and she's like, oh shit, like, you know, something's happening. And she hears, you know, the dad and the dog dying, getting right. uh, fucked up. And uh, so this man is just on a fucking rampage. You don't know nothing about this guy. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't even know a name. So I'm just going to call him the killer yeah. throughout this uh, episode. And, you know, he's just, it's like he's like searching to kill. Right. Like, there's just no real reason at this point. Yeah. He's just going through the house, just slaughtering people. He gets into um, Alex's, he gets into Alex's mom's room. Well, he, or well, Alex's he goes, room. He goes into Marie's room first. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. And she's under the bed. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Because she's, she hears him and you know, she sees him coming through the front door and everything. And she grabs the phone which is not plugged in right you know and <laughs> of so, course you know and so she's trying to move like this dresser you know thinking that the the phone jack is behind the the dresser and everything mm -hmm. and she gets part way through that and uh kind of realizes that he's coming up for her so she kind of moves it back mm -hmm. and kind of like uh cleans up the play like makes the bed look like it hasn't been slept in yeah, or nothing yeah. like, like nobody's been yeah, like nobody's occupying been, it basically. right nobody's in there and everything and so she hides and he comes up there and he searches around the room and everything and he goes into the bathroom and he puts his finger under the faucet like if somebody's been using it or not oh uh, yeah see if it's stuff. dripping yeah. Yep. yeah and he ends up with water on his fingers so he knows that somebody's been in here you yeah know? and uh he goes back in the bedroom and lifts up the mattress and he doesn't see anything but marie's actually under the bed she mm -hmm. just kind of moved her feet you know yeah when he moved and and uh yeah so he eventually doesn't see her so he moves on yeah and he uh you know at this point marie is uh looking for another location to just get out of there or whatever she ends up going into um a different room i don't know if it was whose room it, i don't know whose room it was but she gets into the closet oh yeah um i think it might have been it don't really matter but it's yeah i don't even know what it, it was whether her, her brother's or, you know alex's brother's room yeah or, it could have been um her her parents room i don't know yeah don't yeah know. that's another thing that i forgot to mention her parents alex's parents also have a son little little kid mm -hmm. uh with them so it's marie alex the mom the dad and the son which is I think it's tom tom yeah um the dog <laughs> and then yeah. the, and the killer right so you got all that and uh so i think she went probably into the son's room she gets in the closet 
and you know she's hiding from this killer <laughs> you see uh marie's or uh, you see alex's mom coming in the killer has her and it's like right in front of it's the closet doors are like the shutter yeah. doors yeah so she can see so she can it. yeah she can see through it and she sees um it's almost like alex's mom is looking at her in the eyes you know what i mean and the fucking killer just straight up slits her throat yeah and you see her drop and uh you see it's like a first person view you know you're pretty much looking through uh marie's eyes right and you can see the killer doing something else to her because yeah, there's blood spray yeah there's everywhere a, everywhere man i mean it's like just psh, psh, you know just, all over the closet doors and stuff. Yeah. yeah and finally the killer just walks out and uh he, he like scrapes his yeah, uh wipes wipes his uh his blade razor on blade his, on, his, on his shirt pants and mm-hmm. stuff yeah it's like and uh like that matters right yeah he's, he's already like, covered in blood yeah, right she so he leaves marie comes out of the the closet and she sees um alex's mom mm-hmm. you know her throat i mean it's her head's barely intact i mean it's it's yeah. a deep cut blood everywhere yeah you know? oh yeah and and her eyes are open she's just staring straight up yeah the thing yeah, yeah. and uh she, you know, Marie gets close to her, like mm-hmm. almost, you know, yeah, right in her face, and uh, it's like one, it's like a jump scare, or, you know, yeah. supposed to right. be a jump scare. Uh, Alex's mom jumps up and she's like, "Why?" Mm-hmm. You know, like in a in a weird. Like, why did this happen? Yeah, why did this happen? Yeah. Um, and which is, you know, as a watcher, you're kind of like like what does she mean like why yeah. but why would she say that to her i don't know right. just kind of i don't know it just kind of didn't make yeah this but the first watch it yeah it so, all makes sense afterwards yeah and so hang tight this like it, it gets so good i mean yeah. you know you guys are listening to this episode uh like i said man this just i know it's kind of hard to you know we're flipping through the characters pretty quickly back and forth and stuff but if you can like kind of listen and hang on and shit i'm telling you this twist and like everything is just so fucking badass yeah. so um so we find out why that she the blood spattering and stuff she, he cut her hand off yep uh alex's mom's hand off and uh that's where all the blood splatter and yep. stuff was going yeah and uh so it shows um it shows Alex tied up and Marie is like trying to help. Like she finds Marie finds Alex. Mm-hmm. She's all tied up. Um, Alex seems like kind of frightened. Um, weirdly like freaking out, freaking out, you know, and you got Marie trying to like untie her, And, you know, she's like, oh, I'm going to get you free. And it shows <laughs> Tom, the kid, as this is going on, Tom the kid is running out into the cornfield, and you just hear, Pow! yeah. <laughs> and uh, the dude that it shows the killer shooting the kid, yeah. And Marie is watching this from the top window of the room. Uh, so Marie, you know, sees all this stuff, and she uh, she leaves, she actually leaves Alex, you know, tied up. She's like, yeah. I'll be right back, but it's you know, the man makes his way up there and uh, eventually carries Alex to the van. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, she's still gagged and uh, tied up. A- and uh, Marie sees this, like, through, you know, um, throughout the house, she kind of just sees him doing this, putting her in the van. And they, uh, she ends up getting in the van with her. Marie gets in the van with Alex. And it's like, the dude doesn't notice her, doesn't notice Marie in the back of the van, right. shuts the van doors and takes off. And it, there's like a weird part where you kind of see these other women, like little pictures of this whim, of the women. Uh, I skipped the part where uh, he actually, the killer takes uh, one of the family pictures. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's a picture of 
um, Alex. Yeah. And cuts out the head off the picture and takes uh-huh. it with him. Yeah. And so what I'm talking about right now is he's putting that, it's like up on his visor in the, in that truck. And there's other women, which we don't know who they are or anything, but right. you can just assume that he's done this shit before. And then it shows Marie like tending to Alex in the back of the the van, you know, she's uh-huh. trying to comfort her and uh, maybe even try to like untying her a little bit and stuff like this. But Alex is like very frightened of her, just like she's just freaking out, over freaking the whole out. Situation. The whole thing yeah. is like yeah. you know, her family just got slaughtered, uh-huh. and she just has no idea what the hell is going on. Tom, you know, along with everyone else, is dead. It like shows. Uh, as the van is driving off or the truck, whatever you want to call it, um, it kind of shows just like a run through of the house of the damage that he just did to (laughs) to all all these dead. Yeah. He gets to this gas station and, you know, Marie's talking to Alex and, you know, is just trying to comfort her again. She gets out of the back of the van and kind of sneaks around, uh, the, the van and she makes her way into the um like the actual gas the gas station like store part of it mm-hmm. and she sees the the man the killer going in there and he's like what, what's going on jimmy like he knows the clerk that's working and stuff it's right. like they've known each other you know i thought it was kind of funny too that the um <laughs> the the overalls that the coveralls that the killer's um, wearing and everything. Yeah. Uh, the back of it um, uh, says uh, Aja and Ferez. And, you know, Aja is the, the director, the uh, last name yeah. the director and stuff. So I thought that was kind of Yeah, that cool. is cool. Yeah. yeah. Kind of a- he's like a, from what we gathered, he's like a mechanic. Yeah. You know, um, obviously... Yeah, he's in coveralls and the wording, you know, it, the the words on the van are in French yeah. and stuff. And from what we could figure out, it seems like it's he's some type of mechanic. Right. You know. And so he's in here. He knows the clerk. The clerk knows him. And he's just like putting on sunglasses and just kind of small talking. Yeah. And the clerk's kind of weirded out yeah. by the whole thing. I mean, he's kind of skittish around him, yeah. you know, kind of like. He knows him, but he's like, okay, you're just weird, you know, yeah. kind of thing. And he noticed he actually notices um blood on the killer's hand. Yeah. And it kind of freaks him out. And the killer notices that he notices the blood. Mm-hmm. And he goes to reach for his revolver under the de- you know, under the counter. The killer kind of what would you call it? Like kind of grabs his hand, kind of caresses his finger yeah kind of, his, his other hand uh, when his one hand is grabbing for the gun but his other hand is on the counter and he's just kind of like he just kind of like caresses. rubbing it yeah, it's like, kind of kind of like a, what a like a woman would do to you if you you know she wanted you to kind of flirting kind yeah of thing. flirting I don't, I don't yeah know. that's the only thing i can think of yeah, that was kind of weird yeah it was weird um it's something to kind of even that little part is It'll all kind of make sense eventually. The killer, you know, demands that he wants alcohol. So the the clerk is getting the type of alcohol that he wanted. And as he's reaching up, as he's reaching up to get the, the alcohol that he wanted, the man has an axe and just, fuck, just fucking straight up puts it through his chest, you know. Which that's, uh, and that, uh, that scene, um, it was... Aja's uh, homage to The Shining um, when Jack Nicholson's character uh, takes the axe to uh, Scatman Crothers' character. It, oh, it's yeah. almost exactly yeah. the same into the chest and everything. Yeah, so it's badass. That is too. badass. Yeah. And, it, and it was really badass, too, in that um, in that scene. He, like, steps on his back. So the dude, uh, the clerk, is laying on his stomach with the axe in his chest. Right. And the killer like stomps on his back and pushes yeah. down on it. Push, so, yeah, pushes the axe further into his chest. Yeah, so that was pretty yeah. brutal. You yeah, know, it was, it was. So like so far, I'm loving the gore and the, oh, br- yeah. the brutality yeah. of this 
of this film. And he, he like walks through and just closes the store down. You know, he turns off the lights, flips the sign. Um, and he's just like searching for more people. Like this dude is just like on a fucking killing rampage. He just, anybody that gets in his way, he's just going to kill. You right. know, it, he's, it, there's really no purpose that you know of yet or anything. You have no idea who this guy is, uh-huh. how he relates to anything. Um, so it's very interesting. And he eventually doesn't find nobody. You know, he's looking through the stalls in the bathroom, doesn't find anything. And you, Marie's in there, you know, just kind of dodging them. And that, and that, that, that actually, that whole scene there with the, the, um, the going through the bathroom and everything was a tribute to Maniac. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Hell yeah. And stuff. The, yeah. I don't know if it was, uh, might have been the, the remake or what. I never seen, to be honest with you, I've never seen the remake. The I've seen remake. the, um, I've seen the original. Yeah. But. It's probably the remake because um, uh, just to get off uh, topic real quick. Yeah, that, um, yeah, good. Uh, that Alexandra, uh, Alexandre, and uh, this the screenwriter Gregory. Um, I know I'm going to butcher this up, but um, Levazur, I think, is his last name. Yeah, both of them were actually childhood friends, and. This whole, um, the whole film and everything is like their homage to uh, um, 70s and 80s horror films that they used to watch together. Oh, okay. As, as yeah, that's awesome. And stuff. So, yeah. And uh, Gregory actually, uh, he was a screenwriter. He, he, he was a screenwriter for uh, um, the, the Hills Have Eyes. Um, the, the remakes, not the originals, yeah. but and and Maniac, the 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 uh, the remake. So that's why I think it's in the remake. Yeah, you know. Um, and he also did uh, Piranha 3D and then, oh okay, and then oh, yeah. P2. I don't know if you ever saw P2. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was the, in that too. The yeah. parking garage. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. also a good yeah. film. Yeah, yeah. And they they're actually um um. Alexandre uh, is in uh, some of these films too, so they must work together a lot. Yeah, you know. Uh, um, so I, I think that's yeah, that cool. is cool. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know that. That's yeah. it makes sense though because uh, all those and all those films were pretty like very well done. You yeah. know, all the all the ones yeah. that you named. So it makes sense. Yeah, that he would, it's, you know. it's kind of funny. I mean, and they're all kind of, of like. They all kind of, I mean, this, don't get me wrong. This is like one original oh, yeah. uh, movie. Like there's not much anything. Like, I, I can't say that I've seen a movie that is like this movie. Yeah, I haven't. I, um, I can't but say I have. But as far as like how good this movie is compared to those ones that you just named, yeah. I mean, they're they're equally yeah. is just as good. Yeah. So. And it, it, it's just kind of funny how, I mean, it, it's like Sam Raimi and, and Bruce Campbell. You know, yeah. They grew up together and. Yeah, they have that relationship and then throughout the films and stuff. So it yeah. is, it is, you know, it makes yeah. sense. You know. Which is, you know, referring to the evil dead, yeah, the evil dead. and stuff yeah. that we, you know, they um, are and huge. Even the Spider-Man. Yeah, the yeah. Spider-Man yeah, they're both in. And... Yeah, man. So that's, that's, that's some good uh, fun facts, man. I, I didn't know that. The listeners probably didn't know that either. So that's, that's awesome, man. So we're at the point where uh, the man eventually just leaves, gets in the van, takes yeah. off. And Marie's like, oh, shit, you know, because she's trying to be with Alex. So right. uh, she doesn't want her, you know, who knows what this dude's going to do to her. And so she calls the cops at the gas station. Uh, the cops kind of give her the runaround, you know, they're kind of being assholes. And because uh, she doesn't know where they're at, particularly or anything like that, because she was in the back of the van. And it's just kind of funny them going back and forth. And I think right. I, I can't remember what she said. I think she said, you asshole. Yeah, or, and just hang it up, hangs up on him and shit. Yeah. You know? And uh, and it shows Marie grabbing a gun, um, which was the, the clerk's sword, gun. Yeah, which she was reaching for. Yeah. And um, some car keys. And she gets into this nice-ass car. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not sure what kind of car, but it's, it's, yeah. it's nice. It's yeah. a nice car. Um, and she heads after the van. And she, it shows uh, the man, the killer, in the van now, and it the 
the van has like this window, kind of like a cop car, where you can yeah. see in the back. It has a like uh, grate kind of thing over it. You know, yeah. it's like uh, I don't know. The only thing I can think of is just like a cop car, like how yeah, you can, how you know, you got the, you know, there's, you know, there's no glass there or nothing, but it's like a grate kind of thing. Yeah. Over it. And he's, uh, you know, the alcohol that he just got from the gas station, right. he's, <clears throat> he's pouring it all over Alex, who is tied up in the back. Yeah. And while he's driving, while he's, he's driving, yeah. leaning it over, like, yeah. It on it. And uh, he lights a match and he's like kind of waving it. Taunting, taunting her, her yeah. you know, like yeah. basically, I could just set, set you on fire right, right. now, you know. Right. Um, just taunting her, and, and he chuckles and you know, puts it out and yeah. shit. And they continue driving, and it for a little bit, it shows um, Marie following this the killer and yeah. shit. And you know, go figure, the killer doesn't notice the car behind him, <laughs> right. but yeah. whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just keep on driving, yeah. Like, you know. Eventually, you know, they're going down this, it seems to be like a driveway of like a country farmhouse again, you know, it's, yeah. it's really long, uh, you know, it almost looks like they're going through the woods, but it's, it's like a driveway yeah. and they, she catches up to him. Somehow he gets behind her yeah, and is like, she goes to grab the gun and it shows his hand sticking out the window and he's dropping bullets. Right. Like and you're taking the bullets out of the gun. Yeah. Which, as a watcher, you're kind of like, how the hell would he have, why would he have the bullets um, to a gun that, like, what, like, why? Like, what, right. what's the like point how of would, this? How would he foresee that she's going to be chasing him down with that with gun? With a gun, yeah. Gun. Like, yeah. so at this point, you really kind of start just, questioning some things mm -hmm. you know it's kind of like what how does that even make any sense mm -hmm. um and it just gets fucking better from here yeah. you know so he ends up wrecking her car or well the car that she yeah. stole from the she gas station it. yeah and it catches on fire and the van along with you know the the killer and alex get away for a minute and mm -hmm. she's limping through the woods and she comes up onto this like another like another farm, right? Um, a greenhouse, I yeah, guess. Yeah, they you almost could say. look like greenhouses. Yeah, like, it's different buildings, but they look like greenhouses. Yeah, or it's like a just. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they look abandoned because they're just torn up and. Yeah, and the like, weeds are all grown out yeah. through the whatever was being planted there is yeah, like it's, all overgrown. It's overgrown and, yeah. Um, uh, Marie and the man, it kind of shows them both walking through these greenhouses. You know, they're. Um, the killer's kind of looking for her and she's looking for Alex, you know, they're kind of yeah. um, shifting back and forth between the thing. And she finds this post uh, with barbed wire on it. And I mean, this is some fucking like walking dead shit, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, like Negan. <laughs> yeah. She like fucking, you know, kind of yeah, this post with wrapping around barbed wire. Right yeah. Around, you know? So, you know, it's pretty badass. Yeah. And, She's walking through with it, walking through the greenhouse with it, and the killer shows up with like a plastic bag type mm -hmm. thing, puts it over her head, and um, is suffocating her with it. Mm -hmm. And he takes out, uh, you know, she doesn't even really attempt to try to like poke a hole in the mouth, right, or yeah, they never fucking comments. do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and she, uh, he like takes out a blade on her, and uh, he's like, Alex turns you on she turns me on too, you know? Right. So how the fuck does he know her name? Right. For one. Right. Cause this guy has nothing to do mm -hmm. with Alex's family, Alex, none of that. Right. So as far as we know, cause there's no, there's yeah, as far as you know, nothing has nothing been, nothing has ever yeah. like connected them. So he says, Alex turns you on me too. And so how does he know that she, is into it into alex how does yeah. she know that um how does he know that marie is into alex so right, you know right. so yeah it's a lot of a lot of things are coming up yeah you know, and he shoves his he's got his two fingers and he shoves it in her mouth yeah you know, yep and everything and actually um 
they were going to um, show, uh, have him stick the fingers in her mouth and then his other hand down her pants. Like, oh, really? Yeah, but they thought that was like, too much too much yeah they probably too much they probably had it and then they just like yeah. the whoever they um sent it out to probably yeah. cut it you know yeah. and that's a shit but anyway they thought it was too much and you know uh but that with that scene yeah it's, yeah that's how they were gonna gonna shoot that but um yeah we're you know you're at the point where you're just questioning a lot of the shit yeah know? so this is where you gotta like start hanging on tight when you're listening because it gets gets pretty gnarly yeah. Uh, so it shows Marie hitting this man, uh, repeatedly, like yeah. pretty damn near to death. I right. mean, with the this, dude's fucking hamburger face, yeah, you know? with this club and barbed wire yeah. wrapped around it, you know, and she ends up, uh, he like starts breathing and like tries grabbing her yeah. and he, she puts the plastic bag over his head and yeah. is suffocating him. And as this is going on, it shows the cops finally fucking showing up to that gas station right which i mean this has to be quite a bit later i mean you know i mean like they showed up fucking late let's just put it that way yeah. and so fucking buckle up guys because it gets <laughs> it gets crazy yeah so the the cops are looking through the camera footage the surveillance the yeah. surveillance yeah footage. and they actually where you would see where you seen the man hitting the clerk in the chest with the axe you see fucking marie hitting yeah. him with the axe yeah. holy shit yeah nobody saw this shit coming i didn't mm -hmm. anyway mm -hmm. if you did fucking congrats yeah. but dude that who would have fucking thought that right. that shit would right so at this point not only do you have chills because you know that she's been the fucking killer all along. Right, right. <laughs> and this guy, this man, never fucking existed. existed. Right. You know, so this is like a huge fucking thing, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, it shows, it goes back to Marie. And it shows her going to the back of the van and where Alex is. And she's like, it's all over yeah um there's you know there's nothing gonna it's come okay now it's, yeah you know i can't i killed him and you know like, and, yeah i killed him now. he's gone you know, he's yeah. gone and alex looks confused because she's like man what man you know like yeah. she don't say this but you can just tell but like and, she's and like she's, she's like trying to get away from her yeah too, and know, she's like, very scared of like i've been trying to say i've I've been wanting to fucking blow my cover this whole time <laughs> because it's so hard to not talk about all these little things. Right. Um, but once you're at this point in our show, uh, go back and listen to what we've said and yeah. it'll all make fucking weird sense kind of, or just watch the movie. Yeah. You watch the movie. Yeah. You catch up. You catch all the, this is a, this is a movie you watch again. Like, oh yeah. Like yeah. you watch it the first time and then you watch it again. And it's like, Oh yeah. You catch these little things like, you know, uh, Marie scoping out the house, you yep. know, she's sitting there looking around and she's just like scoping the house out, yep. you know, kind of laying the land kind of shit. Yeah. And I'll also mention when she's in the back of the van, technically that's not happening because she's actually driving the van mm -hmm. since she's the killer. And if you notice when you're watching it, you can tell that Alex isn't really like, acknowledging that she's there yeah you know she's what I mean? just freaking out because she's in the back of the van yeah all tied so up. they make it the shooting of this movie like the way they shot this movie is fucking awesome because yeah, genius um you think as the watcher that marie is tending to alex and you know comforting her and all this other shit but she's not even back there yeah dude it's i mean fucking mind blown you know is, this movie yeah. is fucking awesome that twist is awesome. I didn't see it coming. Dad didn't see it coming. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you didn't fucking see it coming. And if you're listening to this, sorry we just fucking spoiled it, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> go we watch the fucking the movie. Fucking movie <laughs> yeah, we just ruined the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, man. So, you know, Marie's telling her that she killed him. Um, Alex is like trying to get the fuck away from her. And it's really cool at this part because it's showing Marie actually, like, it's actually showing Marie killing her family. 
Yeah. Like, it's like done clips. flashbacks. Yeah, flashbacks yeah. of like not the man anymore. It's, right. it's, it's the, her. It's her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's just like everything's just like unfolding. You right. know, it's mm -hmm. it's awesome. Uh, and, and she's untying uh, Alex. Yeah, she's, she's untying Alex because, you know, we know all this stuff. So obviously we know that Marie has some type of um, psychotic um, episodes. Like she's uh, schizophrenic or yeah. has some type of... Uh, multi-personality. Yeah, multi-personality something yeah. is wrong with her, um, clearly. And so she doesn't understand why Alex is like trying to get away from her. You know, right. it, like she doesn't understand. She thinks that this man this whole time has been killing her family. Yeah. Um, trying to steal Alex and do whatever mm -hmm. he was going to do with her, but it was Marie all along. Yeah. And as she's untying Alex, Alex has a knife somehow. I don't really remember how she got that, but it, uh, if you remember, uh, um, Marie gave it to her. Oh, in, in the, at the house. Yeah. Yeah. Gave it to the house. She's like, just in case I don't make it back. Or yeah, when like she, that. yeah. Yeah. When she left, yeah, she, she gave, gave it, it to her. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. That's, that's what it was. And then, um, Alex takes out the knife, cuts her with it mm -hmm. and then stabs her with it, mm -hmm. cuts her on the face and then yeah, stabs her in the, a, um, uh, I don't know. I can't remember her stomach or something. Some, like yeah. That, something like that. And, and this was just such a badass part because as she, as it shows Marie, pulling out the knife it then like shows the the man that you've seen the whole time pulling out the knife like right so it goes back to not the sweet um uh, marie that's trying to save alex it is now this man you know this persona that she has um this killer right uh, which is you know a part of her person it's like a different personality basically right. And I thought that was like a really badass scene where like she's pulling it out, but then when it's out, he it's back to the man. Right. And you know, it's the man, aka Marie, is chasing Alex, you know, and she gets this uh Marie gets this tree saw thing. Yeah. Uh it's like a chain I d I don't know what it is. It's like a big um Sounds like a chainsaw, but yeah, it's yeah. got like a huge blade, like a like a table saw would, you know. Yeah. Except you can like carry it. I don't know. I've yeah. I've never seen. I'm assuming yeah. it's probably for like trees or something. Yeah. Um, it's very huge. Gonna do a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which you kind of think it's a chainsaw because I mean, um, that that part there where she's chasing her, you know, through the woods with mm -hmm. that with that saw is, uh, um. Shout out to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's one yeah, of their things that they they did with that. And it, I mean, it sounds like a chainsaw on the thing. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, I mean, it could be. I, you just don't know what it. You know, it's a foreign film, so maybe that's like what their chainsaws look like. I yeah, don't know. You yeah, know, it I could be. Know. I don't know. Yeah. That's the other thing that I probably should have mentioned at the very beginning. It, it's all in French or uh, whatever. Oh yeah, uh, there's no English. Yeah, and you gotta watch. It's it, all subtitles. Yeah, it's all know. subtitles. It doesn't even give you the option right. of anything else. So, yeah. uh, which I don't mind. You know, uh, they it, it shows Alex coming up to this car, which is a wrecked car, right? Was it wrecked? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's it's the now you're at the point of Marie's dream. Yeah. So at the Was very that... beginning of our show. In the very beginning of yeah. the movie, when we were explaining how she, she's in a dream, she runs mm -hmm. up on this car, and that's the car. Yes, yeah. and now now we're up into now we're all up to speed, with, right? right. Yeah, <laughs> with everything that's going on, and uh, I hope that we're in our best way explaining this. Yeah, you know, so it's kind of hard to make sense, but it, it's long yeah. story short. The whole time that you see this man, this killer, it's actually marie's mm -hmm. like marie's seeing it like she's seeing shit it's not really a man it's yeah. really her yeah i mean throughout this whole movie and that's what a lot of people had about this film was it it just 
it didn't make any sense um, to a lot of people because how can you know one person be at two places at the same time? Mm-hmm. Well, the whole thing is this is you're not looking at you're not looking at the film looking in. You're actually looking at Marie's. You're in Marie's head. Yeah. It's you know, her point of view. This is her. This is what she's seeing. Yeah. Not what we're supposed to see. This is what she's seeing. Yeah. And then you don't start seeing what other people are seeing until like the end. Right. You know, right. until you find out that she was the killer all along. Right. That's up until that point. You have no idea. Yeah. You know, there's um, they that's why you, it's a good thing to go back and rewatch it. Oh, yeah. Knowing yeah. what you know, because you catch all the little shit that I wish we could have talked about. Um throughout us yeah. explaining it because it would have probably made a little bit more sense but we don't but, want to spoil it yeah for the, i wanted you guys movie, to yeah. like you know feel the um the twist you know it was just yeah. such a fucking badass yeah. thing and it's just i don't know man it's the way that it's just genius how this whole thing went down because you just have no idea you know mm-hmm. and Marie is so in love with Alex that she has these two personalities that is like one uh, loves her more than anything, will do anything for her. And the killer also feels that way, but in like a more demented, right. nobody can have you. Right. I will kill everybody right. to make sure nobody but me will have you, right. you know? Yeah. And those personalities are clashing. Yeah. And that's where you see, um, there's a lot of parts where you see Marie w- that that wouldn't make sense to where like she wouldn't be there. It, it, it wouldn't, right. that scenario wouldn't exist. Right. But that's just her and her head fighting with her own self. Yeah. It, it's, it's her. You have to look at it as this is what Maria is seeing. It's yes. not what we're seeing. Yeah. Obviously it's right. what Marie's seeing. Yeah. yeah. So that being said, man, they, Alex gets up to this car. It's from her, uh, from Marie's dream. The man, AKA Marie takes the saw thing and cuts this dude. Yeah. The driver, um, the driver. driver, there's a driver in this car. Yeah. That's yep. wrecked. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, um, a man in the, you know, and the killer like slices him through the, through um, the windshield, through the windshield, and then, and then through it almost his, cuts him in half. Yeah. His stomach and stuff like that. Very gory. I mean, there's yeah. blood splat. And it, you know, like we said, it's a huge fucking chainsaw thing. I mean, this thing's doing some damage. Oh, yeah. And I mean, blood spraying everywhere. And there's also, um, you remember the, the, the point where the blood sprays over the camera lens yeah, and everything that was actually an accident. Oh, really? It wasn't supposed to happen that way, but it, but it's, it sprayed up like that. And actually that scene was never in the, in the theaters. It's now on the DVD. On the DVD, things. the Blu-ray. I don't know if that. it's just particularly the unrated because we watched the unrated version yeah. or not. But um, yeah, they it wasn't in the in the movie theaters. And they yeah. cut that. I would out. love to go back and in. Um, listen to the commentary. Oh and yeah. shit too, just to kind of see what more you could find oh, out. Yeah. I mean, because that that's a badass. Yeah, um, it was. Actually I love little accident. things like yeah, that. You yeah. know, like it, it wasn't meant to happen, and then um, I, they're like, "Fuck it, let's keep it in." There. Yeah, <laughs> or, I, I think it, it may have been too much for the for the sensors or whatever. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I know they're like super fucking picky. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, so, but yeah, it's in the in the DVD. So <laughs> that's badass, dude. <laughs> so basically, this dude is getting just fucked up with this saw. Yeah. Um, obviously, he dies, and Marie um, goes to the back of the car and is kind of like, Alex, yeah, yeah, trying to get to Alex. Mm-hmm. Alex gets out of the car, mm-hmm. and she's like crawling. Um, because she has this fucking huge chunk of glass, yeah. um, like in her Achilles tendon, you know what I mean? Right. Which and that, which that was a tribute to the Hells Have Eyes. There was yeah, scene, yeah. There was a scene in that where you know, big gla- glass mm-hmm. in your in her foot and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's another one that. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like all movies that they're related, that um, they all had tributes to, but. You know they they had parts in a you know like the yeah. director um, Aja and then you know Gregory uh, you know screen wrote a lot yeah of those films so these kind of threw back of, like yeah of some of their own films yeah yeah they did that's fucking awesome 
it, it's so crazy to think about uh that that was always like a a disturbing thing to me is like thinking about your uh achilles tendon being like se- like severed almost oh, like, yeah you ever seen um it's kind of slightly off topic but um like house of wax when they have the um scissors up above the grate and they this mm-hmm. like the woman's like walking and they cut it yeah. cut the achilles tendon with some scissors yeah <laughs> like ever since then it's just like man because i mean you can literally you like walk. not walk or nothing right you know and that shit would be painful so another another one that comes to mind is hostile the yeah where he yeah he, he's he's uh bound to that chair and the, the guy's like you want to you want to leave you want to go okay and he cuts his his mm-hmm. is that his, uh the one where it's jeffrey combs as the thing or no 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 it's no. Yeah. yeah um he cuts the you know the tendons on yeah him, both of his and he goes to stand up and he falls down because he can't oh yeah 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 <laughs> he's like crawling trying to get out of it yeah and, you know it's yeah so i've always been like damn that's you yeah, know that shit yeah. sucks so she um uh, the man walks up to her and is like calling her a slut you know mm-hmm. this is once again it's marie just as the watcher you're seeing this man and he's calling her a slut and um he he's like do you love me you you don't fucking love me do you you know he's just these are the battles in marie's head where it's like this this man there's like no other person that can have her you know right. what i mean right and then you have like innocent marie uh personality where mm-hmm. it's like um she just loves her right. a lot and cares for her and shit, right. you know and it's it's so wild, like when this shit comes out and you you finally find out like why everything makes sense, you know, because you have no idea who the fuck this dude is, how he knows Alex, um, why he's obsessed with her. And all the long I mean, and Marie has been obsessed with her this whole movie, you know, mm-hmm. and it just all fucking makes sense. It's awesome. Uh they <laughs> she walks up. Uh, or the man walks up, and like I said, he's calling her a slut. Uh, he starts like kissing, kissing Alex, but it it goes back to Marie. Like it shows Marie, yeah. the woman Marie showing. Yeah, she's like, "You don't love me," and this and that. And then Alex finally, you know, she says, "I do love you." Yeah, I mean, she's kind of like saving her, trying to save her own life. Either, yeah, you know? yeah, but, which kind of turns, um, kind of flips a switch, right? Uh, somewhat. Yeah, somewhat. Uh, to to Marie, and. Uh, as Marie is kissing her, Alex stabs her with like a crowbar. Yeah, basically. And then um, she grabbed it from the car or something. Yeah, and, I'm not real sure know, how yeah. she got it because yeah, I don't. Either. I, maybe I missed it, but um, somehow she got this like crowbar looking thing, puts it through her chest or stomach. Yeah. Um, and it goes back to at the very beginning when I was talking about this woman rocking back and forth and she's like saying, I won't let anyone come between us anymore. I won't let anybody come between us. Repeating that over and over and over again. And so now, you know, for sure that that woman at the very beginning was, um, Marie Marie. And that's where she's at now. She's locked up. She didn't die somehow. I don't know how the fuck you can live. Yeah, getting, I, I mean, that's yeah. beyond me, but it's a horror flick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I wish, you know, I get fucking, <laughs> I would not survive probably. Right. So, but, and for whatever reason, Alex shows up and it's like, um, the, what do you call that glass where you can, um, like see. And so like a one way glass. Yeah. Like you can way. like, she can see, uh, Marie, but Marie's not supposed to see her. Right, not supposed to see her. Yeah. And Alex asks, like, can she see me? And as soon as she says that, Marie gets like a feeling or something mm-hmm. that she's you know, Alex is present. Right. And she turns to um turns to the w- the, window the window and yeah. like reaches her arm reaches out like for a hug. Out. Like like she knows that she's Yeah, know, like she, yeah. yeah. And and then the and then it fucking uh ends yeah you know yeah and i loved it you know oh, i yeah. i i don't know um i mean i know how you feel about it um 
I I thought it was great. There's so many people. Um, I've seen people dissing on it because it didn't make sense to them. Uh, and I can see in some ways, but if you just really think about the movie and kind of put yourself in a position where, um, you know, mental health is a real thing. Right. Uh, hallucinating is a real thing. Mm-hmm. Schizophrenia, mm-hmm. all this shit. Um, and that's probably why most people don't understand it because they don't go through that every day. Right. But if you could put yourself in that position, I think it would make a little bit more sense. Yeah. And, um, uh, it's like we said earlier, you have to look at it as this, um, you're in Marie's head. You're yep. in her head. You're not looking at it. You're not just somebody on the outside looking in. You're yeah. you're in her head, you know? Yeah. And once you realize that, you can, you know, it makes sense. You know what I mean? Because uh, you're just, because, I mean, in all reality, I mean, if you are really into some, you know, in somebody's head, that's, you know, um schizophrenic or you know Mm -hmm. really mentally ill you're gonna see what they see you know and Mm -hmm. that and that's and it's like whether it's believable or not that's you know that's what they see yeah what Mm -hmm. you know yeah or whatever you know yeah like she marie 150 percent believed that there was a man Mm -hmm. yeah killing everybody even though it was her you know and it was just such a I, I mean, I've said it a thousand times. I I think if you're listening to this, um, definitely, I mean, if you're this far into the episode, it's spoiled for you. But um, even with the information that you know now, um, with the spoiler, rewatch it. It's almost like rewatching it again. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can literally listen to the spoil of the movie and the twist and go watch it. And it's almost like a whole new movie. Yeah. And it, you know, yeah, and it it's is. just as good. It's Cause you awesome. catch all the, you know, like I said, you can, you can see Marie kind of scoping out the, mm-hmm. the, the, the house and, um, you know, there's so many you, little you, things, so many little things you pick mm-hmm. up, you know, and yeah, it's man. almost throughout the whole movie. You can just pick up, uh, things once you know the whole story, you know? Yeah. Yeah, the only the only um, one uh, one other thing I wanted to say about this film is actually, um, this film is a lot like, um, and it was influenced by uh, Dean Koontz, which is a well known writer. Mm. His novel of intensity, and um, despite the similarities and everything else like that, Koontz didn't press you know, uh, didn't sue, you know, for plagiarism or anything else like that because he thought the film was garbage and he didn't want his name associated with it. Really? (laughs) He actually said, he said, it's a, it's bankrupt, you know, this and that. And he said, I don't want my name associated with, with this movie, but well, I mean, I mean, I never read that novel, so I don't know, but I mean, in his defense, uh, well, I don't know if you'd say defense, but like, it's not a very popular movie. I don't right, think it is. So, yeah. you know, maybe, you know, I don't, I would have loved to have my name on this movie, you know, yeah, if, you I know, mean, if I had yeah. anything to do with it, shit, I want a part of that. Um, but you know, some people are very picky with the, um, the way that they, you know, get into what they want, what they want associated with, with. whatever. And that's, that's this case, but yeah, that's, I didn't um, know that either, man. That's, that's awesome, dude. Um, it's crazy how like people can get into movies that are like, you never know the movie could be, uh, very low budget, but then you make millions, Yeah, you know, there's been a terrifier too, for example. I mean, that budget was low as fuck. I mean, I save up long enough. I could afford the budget for that. Right. You know, and they made millions off that. Yeah. I mean, The the Walking Dead. Oh, you yeah. You know, mm-hmm. the comic book, you know. Um, uh, it wasn't worth shit, you know. Yeah. <laughs> when, you know, 2010, it was worth five bucks. In 2010, when, you know, the show came out, and now, you know, it's a couple grand, you know. Mm-hmm. It's, mm-hmm. it's that one you thing. You just never know, man. You just never know. 
you know. Shit, this movie so, could get big, uh, you know. Like it's oh, yeah. it's been twenty years, but um, you never know. I mean, this could yeah. be the next fucking hot thing or something, and then. Yeah. You know, that guy could have been a billionaire or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know what it, you know, I, I don't know what it costs to um, make this film. Actually, I, I do. Uh, it was actually shot in 36 days. Damn. Yeah, the whole, the whole thing was shot in 36 days. But I, I, I don't know what it took to, to you know, how much money it made mm. uh, to, you know, make this film and then how much it, it grossed or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't know that part of it. I just know. I mean, it's it's one of those sleeper films, you know. Yeah. Yeah, hands down, man. Uh, I gave it an eight point five. You get it at, uh, eight point five. Uh, definitely check it out. Check out our other episodes. Um, this is episode fourteen, so we have thirteen others. Um, if you're not hip, you better get hip. And uh, yeah. We'll let you guys know whenever we do that Evil Dead. Oh, yeah. Uh, Definitely. I'll, I'll post about that. And hopefully soon. I, I, I'm very excited to do an episode on that one. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube. Check me out on Spotify, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. We're all over. Uh, yeah. Anything else, man? No. All right, man. We'll get hip or rot. Peace oh, yeah. out, guys.